Big Twitch changes. What is this? Check it out. My Lugwood side channel, bro. It's got like two channels. Today we're going to talk about one of my two great passions, live streaming. The other one, of course, being ventriloquism. And if Ventri what the heck? If you haven't heard, there are some major... No, he's got to be kidding, guys. ...updates in the live streaming space that we have to talk about. The first one coming from a friend of mine, Charlie. AKA oh, what's Charlie, guys? The guy who we reacted to, like, a couple of his videos here and there. A Moist Critical, who dropped a bombshell video titled Goodbye Twitch, where he says this. So, I am no longer signing exclusively elsewhere. He's just no, no longer exclusive with Twitch. You know, try things out, right? He'll enter his college era, and he'll go back. He'll link up with Twitch. He'll have hot, nasty sex, but he's going to try. <laughs> what the heck? I didn't know you even had an exclusive Twitch contract, guys. Try out the YouTubes of the world and maybe some other sites. He didn't mention any, but he is right now trying a stream on YouTube.com, which is... Guys, uh, I streamed on YouTube uh, as a main platform for like six months, guys. It's going really well. He's sitting at 24,000 average viewership, which... Bro has more followers on uh, YouTube for sure. It was his peak on Twitch over the past 90 days. I wouldn't extrapolate that too far. I would I would say, you know, he does have a larger presence on YouTube, but live streaming on YouTube is a bit of a pain in the ass. It's kind of hard. Uh, really, streams that do well are ones that happen sporadically because it's an exciting thing. I know, right, bro? We, we were there every day, guys, for like at least four hours. Usually at four hours plus a day, man. Or if it's a big event. Otherwise, you can probably look at a lot of the streamers who switch from other websites to YouTube and see a decrease in viewership generally. It's just, I don't know, it's just, you know, they, they just got to work on something. But somehow, like, I had my biggest following on YouTube, so we got the most viewers on YouTube for the most part. I did multi-stream, which is against TOS, uh, Twitch's TOS, but I don't do that no more, guys. We, we're exclusively on Twitch now. My switch to kick, though. Thanks, bro. We'll, we'll talk about that another day. But let's focus on the, the, the big competitor that's making a huge splash in the headlines, kick.com uh, and of course, snap okay okay of course they had the xqc signing we talked about that one but there's been a yeah we definitely talked about that man a couple of other signings that have happened over the past week and something even more interesting than just paying everybody keeps signing uh kick uh, guys we should go on live on kick we might go live on kick after this guys like keep making some good changes here uh, 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 i'm trying to get out it's owned by a billionaire so you know Kick, kick needs to offer me a deal, guys. A lot of big streamers, millions of dollars. But but first, they signed Your Rage. Uh, he did the classic, oh, I, got, I got a few options. Which am I, which one am I going <laughs> to I wonder if they, like, um require them to, like, make a video after signing. It seems so, guys. But, yeah, they got Your Rage. Might as well get Kai Sinet, guys. Gonna pick. They get Kai and, oh, my gosh, bro. Are we not even? But a lot of them, it's not even an exclusive contract. But they made the OSRS streamers basically uh, have a, an exclusive contract. Like Odeblock, he'll stream for like an hour max on Twitch before switching over to uh, Kick. Are putting YouTube on a fucking truck anymore to pick? Like, is it that much of a joke? Oh my gosh, bro. Ludwig signed an a signed a, a exclusive uh, YouTube contract, and they're doing him dirty like that. Hold on, let me just move my webcam. Okay. People live stream. I know, like, uh, guys, YouTube seems to be a joke nowadays, bro. Okay, this is a real establishment where live streams happen. You put they put Rumble instead of YouTube, guys. Like, there's more viewers on you. Oh, the only uh, YouTube streams that seem to get traction are the ones that have that are like a you know a lo-fi girl like twenty-four-seven uh, streams it seems. Anyway, this one was not too much of a surprise because Your Rage has some friends who do already stream on Kick.com, uh, but it was a little bit more of a surprise when it was announced that Sapnap would also be going to Kick. Him as well. I don't know who this is, guys. I have never even reacted to any of his clips on Twitter. I have not seen him ever on a live stream fail, so I don't know what's going on. .com. And if you don't know, Sapnap is a Minecraft creator. And if you've been to kick.com, it's... Well, that's why. That's why. Not exactly... Only, only Minecraft creator I see on a live stream fail is Forzen, guys. Ripe with Minecraft creators. That's not the demographic that currently operates in that space. He is the first of that. It, it's kind of like Hikaru when he went over there. You don't really think of it as the chess uh, hub, but, but you know, you got to start somewhere. Somebody's got to be the first. 
Honestly, I still get zero viewers on Twitch anyways, so. Now, uh, we're going to talk about why this signing is a, a little bit. So yesterday, we got that huge host. More problematic in a bit. But first, is it working? Is, is signing people making Kick bigger? I mean, they're still massively smaller than Twitch, you know. Dang, bro. I mean, one-tenth of the monthly viewers. You know, Twitch, at least according to this website, is getting billions of uh, visits a month, and Kick is getting hundreds of millions. But they do seem to be growing. I mean, if you look at their largest day ever, it came directly after the signing of XQC, where they had over 8 million people go to the website. And since then, it went down a bit. But, like, let's be fair. You it's just, uh, you know, they need to sign a bigger streamer now, it seems. Can't sign an but they're, they're, doing, they're, they're doing their hardest to try to become uh, the number two uh, most viewed uh, live stream site, guys. You see every month, you'll be out a billion dollars before the end of the year. And they are getting more visits now than they did before some of those major signings. Right, Quarter over quarter, they are growing. Uh, I think they just hit 12 million users, which is, which is pretty fast. They hit that, that pretty quickly. Not bad, not bad. Guys, we got we still got like one kick sub, man, so real ones, bro. Kick kick actually pays you at monthly, guys, like even if you you know you need like a, a threshold to, to be able to go live on kick, man. Uh and and the, the question most people ask, aren't they like bleeding money? Where's all this money coming from? Is this sustainable? How are they able to afford signing all these people without actually even running ads on their platform? Like if you go to kick, you won't receive an ad. Because they don't have any advertisers at all. To which the CEO of Kick Eddie would say, eh, we don't even care about that. It's not even a problem. Yeah, no, we're, we're we've, we've, at this moment, we're not running ads. You know, I'd like to think we're in a, we're in a growth phase right now. You know, our, our sole goal right now is to grow. We really want to grow Kick. We want it to be a name that people recognize when they think of live streaming. We want it to become a part of, you know, internet culture. We want it to be, you know, standing there with the other giants in this industry. We think we can do that. So, facts, bro. Facts. Now, that's not super weird for a uh, CEO kick. Yeah, that's a billionaire himself talking, I believe, guys. Start up to want to grow and not be profitable in the first year. It's even not that weird for like a Silicon Valley type company to be in a growth phase for a few years and blow hundreds of millions of dollars to capture. Bro, is that like my Twitch channel, bro? Are we gonna be in a growth phase like that? A huge market share by offering insane services and then turning around and then seems so, man. Try to make money, oftentimes making the product experience way worse, like Uber or DoorDash or Netflix, because it's way our user behavior is already set. We already signed up for all these things. We don't have cable anymore. We cut we cut cable, so. You can fuck us all over because we, we have no option. Now, I'm not saying Kick is going to make their experience terrible when they try to become profitable, but it is not that weird to be in a growth phase. How are they yeah, it's not that weird, guys. Are they funding this growth phase? They haven't gone for several rounds of VC funding, but luckily, a lot of the people who are on the board at Kick are also on the board at Stake.com, and they're also billionaires. So, you know... Man, I wish I started like a gambling company or something, bro. I'd be so freaking rich. I'd be so flipping rich, man. But hey, guys, better late than never, you know what I mean? We're going to make some good financial investments this year, guys. Promise. You know, a lot of people come to the final conclusion that, that at its core, Kick is just a marketing vehicle for stake. I would say that a little more accurately, the people at stake had enough money to go to a new venture which they are doing with kick.com and they have enough runway from all the money they made with stake to lose money with kick.com for a while. And it does benefit stake. If there is a place that they get to choose the regulation on for gambling, uh, that, that they can still allow it on the site as opposed to just being at the whim of another company like YouTube or Twitch who have banned people for doing gambling content, sponsored gambling content. In and YouTube banned me. We're not even gambling, bro. I'm hoping I keep the channel, man. I think I will, guys. We're still going to keep the videos up, but yeah. In the past. Thankfully, uh, five more days till I get my paycheck, but that's going to be my only paycheck for like two months, man. Now, I will stop here to also address that Kick has... Unless we get like one video that goes viral on YouTube, which could happen, could happen. Added some features like the ability to hide uh, any 18 plus content. What the heck, guys? <laughs> Kick's still in. It's a. It's gonna take a while for Kick to get good, guys. Not gonna lie, like 
You uh, it's just not as good as Twitch. I'm telling you right now, man. Pools, hot tubs, and bikinis, and also hide slots. But this is kind of cool. I did not know they added this. In casinos, uh, uh, from your web page at all. You just have to go to your settings and profile. Uh, which 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 is which is cool. I think that is a helpful feature. I've seen it get abused a few times like we'll just go to the just chatting with both of those categories But a lot as long as they're good on moderation that that should as he's got an RGB on his microphone man That's pretty cool could address that uh, And they've also added something that I think is way more interesting than paying big creators millions of dollars Which is their kick creator incentive program and these are the first people who are in the beta of said program This dude looks like me. What the hell? It's a lot of wig, guys. It's a lot of wig. This is, they're in the beta of this uh, incentive program. Man, you got to be a partner on Twitch to even uh, be in this, guys. We are not a partner. So. Uh, and the question might be, what the hell is it? What does this mean? Basically, they are offering to pay creators for streaming hourly. Not conditional on running ads uh, and totally in addition to any subscribers or donations from viewers. It is just the website paying creators outright uh and uh they have a few criteria on on how much you get paid it's based on the number of hours you stream a flat rate thanks so it's based on the average viewers guys sadly based on kicks advertising cpms which doesn't exist uh because they don't have ads at the moment uh the what they don't have ads at all what the average viewers you have hey bro they're, they're probably losing so much money then and viewer demographics you get rich quick it's like you know might as well you know, try to overtake a bigger company and try to make money, more money from it, which is a good business mode. Not gonna lie. Uh, and engagement, which sounds really fucking cool to be on a website that pays you ninety-five percent of the sub revenue, and then also. Yeah, guys, I, I got a few paychecks from t Kick, man. It's pretty cool. Ten dollars, or I got like nine dollars fifty cents on two subs, bro. That is so cracked. Uh, is able to pay you hourly if you stream is a huge advantage for smaller creators to maybe go full-time streaming because of all that revenue and then up their creation game, right? Not not just on Kick, but also on YouTube. Focus on making videos, uh, shorts, TikToks, whatever it is. Uh, that is a big, big buff, uh, and it is cool that they're kicking that off. Yeah, you know how we pump out those shorts, guys. We get so many views on shorts. At least decent views. And that 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 is our that is our that is our strong point here, guys. You know what I mean? We are gonna take it to a whole nother level with our work work ethic here and our reactions. Uh, and and we'll see how it goes. Right? It, my take right now on Kick.com, I I don't know if I would sign with the website. All right? I I hey, I'll entertain a conversation. I wouldn't entertain. I, I entertain. <laughs> even Ludwig want wants to uh, join them. It seems, guys. Entertain a conversation with Facebook.com. But but it is concerning for some of the someone like me, right, or, or a big creator to take millions of dollars. Because the question I always have is, what is the goal with all that capital, right? You have to have a plan with all the money that you would receive that is more valuable than the value maybe taken away from promoting a website. Yeah, it's a early retirement, right, guys? You're still gonna be making money streaming. Like that has uh, uh, not the best track record in terms of protecting communities and content moderation, um, which we're gonna talk about in just a moment. However. If you're a smaller creator and this is an opportunity to go full time, I say fuck it. I say get the bag. I say take them for all they're worth. All right, these guys like uh, you know they're ri so rich they have you know, like they don't you know might get lucky and get rich quick just like them just by taking a contract from them. And that is a crack thing about this guys. For as long as they're able to pay people out at such a huge loss. Because why not? If it is the dream of all dreams. We accept a lot of evils in our lives. All right. I, I drink fucking Nestle water occasionally because I'm <laughs> fucking thirsty. And what is that? Is that milk water? You said Nestle water, guys. Oh, my gosh. And, 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 and they're also an evil. But if, 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 if it's in your self-interest, if it works for you, I say go for it. Oh, for sure, man. I'm one of the lowest earning uh, streamers in the game right now, and that's what we need, bro, is a contract. I hold more judgment for people who are already millionaires. They don't really need more millions of dollars unless they have some really cool plan to do with all that. Seems unattainable for me, guys. I, I disagree, though, man. It they could do whatever they want, the millions, as long as it's not super malicious, right, guys? Money. Anyway, back to uh, uh, the issues with Quick. 
which is their lack uh, of protecting certain communities. Specifically, if you go on that website, the, the cover boy of it, Aiden Ross, the guy who, you know, is kind of the face of kick in some ways. <laughs> yeah, he's one of the biggest streamers currently. His chat. He's also that Rosh Stein guy. And he, he, he gets tons of viewers as well. That is, is, they're doing mostly slots. Ruthless, bro. They really want to kill a lot of minority groups all the time. Uh, and Tubbo talked about this after the summer. And kick, kick, you're too toxic, bro. The 4chan in the live stream space, it seems. Signing of Sapnap, who is a creator with a younger demographic and a gayer demographic. Is people in communities such as LGBTQIA+, um, younger demographic and stuff like that. I feel like this platform is not a safe place to be. Thankfully, you can always just ban those users that are doing that. Openly trans, not a safe place to be openly Jewish. And look, Tubbo's 100% right that the chats go fucking crazy. They say some unhinged shit on Kick.com. And I'm worried that Kick has not done enough to, to stop that, to, to punish creators who let their chats run rampant or, or even moderate the chats from being able to talk like that at all. And they're going to go down to, to being like Rumble, just purely associated with with maybe some hateful groups, as opposed to just a platform that wants to host content of all types. Uh, and it'll cap their ability to grow. It can't, bro. Into a mainstream platform. Now, there was a response from one of the founders of Kick, Bijan, who said, while I respect the fact that you care about your community, it's unfair to claim Kick is somehow dangerous for them while simultaneously cultivating your community on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> I don't get it, though. Ah, you would like to improve Kick somewhat, but you are on Twitter.com. Curious. Uh, we have platform-wide AI moderation on both video content and chat. He said AI, bro. AI is taking over, bro. Messages, and, and, and we are our young platform, so give us a chance. You know, what the heck? To which Tubbo, uh, like, he went for a, the crazy reply. He said, hey, man, I get it's young. I don't get why you're comparing your platform to Twitter.com because that's a much bigger website and not predominantly filled with hate speech, which I massively disagree on, Tubbo. I do think it is filled. Bro, that, that is such a toxic chat, though. Like, oh, my gosh. I just I just want to cover up what, what it's even saying here, bro. To Twitter as your bar for morale and, and preventing hate speech. We got a low fucking bar, buddy. We gotta, we gotta find a new bar to go to. Uh, I would argue that the reason you cultivate a platform on Twitter is because it has market share and has dominated the space. And its recent changes have actually moved a lot of creators off of Twitter. So, man, my Twitter following kind of sucks, bro. I get ten views per tweet. You don't want to be comparing yourself to them, all right? Tw Twitter. But I also don't use it actively. Like, you know what I mean? YouTube's our strong point here. We post on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, but most of our views come from YouTube. Uh, TikTok's the second, uh, second, a uh, close second, bro. But we can also post our videos on uh, Twitter, but uh, I, I might start doing that, guys. Twitter's a website that straight up I get uh, offered a clip from Crazy Clip once a fucking day. That's type. Guys. I mean, he watches them, so it's like more watch time. He's gonna suggest them more, and I don't, I don't even want to see this cl guy clip, guys. Guy gets hit by a truck, blushy face emoji, and then a guy jaywalking gets hit by a fucking truck, and it's like 9 a.m. and I'm like, why is this on my for you page? And then a blue check will reply with just the most low res gif and lame ass comment they could think of. If you can dodge traffic, you can dodge a ball. So anyway, and uh, everybody's just uh. Everybody's just trying to come up with a bag on every platform now, guys. They just now offered, started offering paychecks on Twitter. Like, oh my gosh, that's, it's a cool idea, though. Anyway, this Twitter... But they just started that this year, guys. This year. Rant aside, I do think Tubbo brought out a bit of receipts, which is uh, Aiden Ross's chat saying, I kill LGBTQ. We all kill LGBTQ, which honestly progressive that they they threw in the queue right like <laughs> they're actually getting the acronym down a little bit that's yeah they got to be more nicer bros that's that's huge uh i wow i don't even want to read that sentence out me either dude like come on now don't even bring it up man loud. black lives don't okay I, I don't none of these sentences are okay to read out loud i'm gonna make you read them and have your thoughts be 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 fucking tainted with so many chats do get like that though as opposed to jesus man so you, you get the idea, all right? Kick.com right now 
uh, I think is is a little too unmoderated uh, and a little too associated with uh, just hate speech outright. And so a creator like Sapnap going over will be an interesting test. We will see. All right. Is, is he going to be hate rated by the people who are around him? Uh, will the people who go to Sapnap stream feel comfortable being on that stream? Because right now, the only people who stream on kick.com are people who are paid millions and millions and millions of dollars. Yes, bro. Like your rage, people who just get banned on other websites. Uzi, aka the new millionaire, bro. It's like Twitch or YouTube. Another millionaire. YouTube, so they don't have anywhere to go, so they check out kick.com. Don't forget Alfie and uh, Odoblog, though, right, guys? Like Fuzi or people who just maybe didn't have enough success to want to continue on a website like Twitch, which doesn't offer as competitive rates in terms of subsplit, uh, and and they want to try their hand over on a website like Kick, right? That that seems to be the main three groups of people who I see go over to Kick. And until Kick starts to get their act right and starts to make it a place that feels good and comfortable for anyone to go on, I don't think they're going to grow to that culture point that Eddie wants them to. I, I, I don't think even throwing hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars is going to get them there. Uh, but we'll see. I think if they keep signing streamers, it sure will, man. Time will tell, right? They, all right, that's it. All right. Uh, we're going to see more and more streamers move on to there. That's their pit game plan because they just keep making money and they keep signing streamers. And that, that, that's a good way to get the streamers to be on there, guys. Right, thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Subscribe. All right. See you later. Goodbye. See you later. I got a lo lo actually mogul mail. He says it's not him, but it is him, guys. Like, check out uh, mogul mail in the description. I'll see you guys next video. He said Lugnoig and mogul mail are two different personalities. So later, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and do all my reactions live on Twitch. Come through, say hi. See you guys next one.